Okay, let's apply the chain rule to take the derivative of this function that has a negative exponent. So the chain rule, I know I'm gonna use it because we have a linear function and that's all raised to the negative second power. So the negative second power is attached to a, a function that's on the inside. So the chain rule says we wanna take the derivative of the outer function. So that's where I'm thinking something raised to the negative second, we can use the power rule. So the exponent comes down in front for the power rule. Then we reduce the exponent by one. So negative two minus one makes negative three for our new exponent. But then we want to keep the inner function the exact same. So two X plus five is gonna remain the same at this point, but then we multiply our result by the derivative of the inner function. Remember we said our inner function was a two X plus five. Its derivative is just gonna be two because it's linear. It's always the slope of this line or you could take it one uh, term at a time if you'd rather. All right, from here, let's clean this up a little bit. How I'm gonna do so is I'm gonna say that negative two and that positive two can multiply together and make negative four. And that's gonna be over rewriting, instead of having a negative exponent here, we can rewrite this with a positive exponent by moving it down to the denominator. So we can say that's the same thing as two X plus five raised to the positive third power. All right, so that's our derivative, very nice, cleanly written. Next, what we wanna do is evaluate this at three. So what that means is we're gonna take our derivative and replace the X, in our case, only one X here, replace it with a three, and then do a little bit of simplifying down. So we can say that's negative four over the quantity two times three plus five raised to the third power, which works out to be negative four over six plus five, raised to the third power is negative four over 11 cubed, which maybe get the calculator out for this one if you're not sure on 11 cubed, works out to be 1,331. All right, hope this helps out. As you're working on the chain rule, just remember, identify it as something is a inside, one function is inside of another function. So approach the outer function first, using the power rule here keep the inner function the same, then multiply by the derivative of the inner function. All right, hope this helps out as you're working on negative exponents and taking derivatives. Good luck.